You may be asking, why make greeting cards? Join me on my craft table and I'll explain why I do and you can see what a wonderful hobby this is. In today's video, I'm going to actually be creating a card while I'm discussing the reasons why I make cards and why this has become such a great hobby. First and foremost, I've always been creative since I was little. Be it my construction paper Mother's Day card or the macaroni covered bottles or sewing Barbie clothes. Yes, they actually had Barbie clothes patterns back then. I did try to start dabbling in painting a little bit in 2003. I still dabble. <laughs> You'll see some of that on my channel. But then when I was a home health nurse doing visits, I'm still a home health nurse, more home care. I had a patient who then later just became a good friend. And I told her one day that I had gone into a Joanne store and saw this magazine on paper crafting. This is back in 2017, I believe. And she's like, oh, okay. And she started pulling out all of her paper crafting stuff. I was just absolutely thrilled. And of course, the magazine that I bought from Joann's included a die in it that I had no idea what to do with. So I got on YouTube right away and started learning. Isn't that how we all do stuff, right? We learn from YouTube. So I started making cards and she was the very first person I made a card for. And I'm so glad I did because she passed away. And so now I create cards in her memory and I have her picture on the bulletin board above my craft table. I gave her that card because I wanted to show her in a tangible way how much I cared about her. And I expect that's why we send cards in the first place, right? But I think homemade cards are even more special because it's our time and our effort and our energy to be creative. And I think, I think it's appreciated. Taking the time and letting them know that you care that much about them is important. Okay. Yeah. Trying to do, trying to measure my paper here. I go into more detail about how to make cards in my Back to Basics series, and it will be on the end screen after this video. During this lockdown, or right before this lockdown, I decided I was going to send all of my church family cards. That was like 75 cards. So luckily I had some time off because it took me about three weeks total to get them all out. But I just wanted people to know. I called them my stay well cards. I wanted them to know that in this very frightening time at the beginning of the lockdown. You know, it's nice to know that somebody cares about you. And somebody's thinking about you. And we're all going through it together, right? Shortly after that, I started sending out Christmas cards. I'm a square dancer and a square dance caller. So I had a few clubs. And there's a lot of people in those clubs. And so that was, that was fun and challenging at the same time. But I enjoyed it so much. Everybody was happy to receive those cards. Besides doing Christmas cards for my square dance friends, 
I also donate to a local homeless shelter and to my church. And one of my deacons even brought up the subject of maybe doing a card class, which I would be absolutely thrilled to do that. It would be such an honor. Because right now I just bring cards in and they they go through them and I all I ask is that they donate something to back to the church. Okay, we're gonna stamp the inside of the card now. Everything that I'm doing is included in the playlist of that Back to Basics series. So please feel free to look at that after this video. And I hope you get as much fun out of this as I am. There we go. Thinking of you, sending you sunshine and laughter. Now, this particular piece that I have is from a set that I got from a card making company that you pay monthly for. I wanted to show you the different kinds of cards that can be made. This is just a thinking of you card, but there's also birthday cards, which is the most popular. And we have holiday cards, including Christmas. There is a series called 10 on the 10th. It's called a collaboration. A bunch of us get together and we showcase our cards. We make, we each make videos and we show that we make 10 cards a month. And that way we avoid the stress at the last minute of trying to make cards in November with everything else going on. We love what we do, but sometimes it's, it's great to be able to find a way to reduce stress a little bit. Here's another birthday card I think is adorable. A general fall card. These are the cards I just finished making. This is another part of a collaboration. A lady puts out a card sketch that we follow. And the most popular besides birthday are Mother's Day cards. And get well cards. And I don't have one to show you, but the least favorite is sympathy cards. But I think it's important that the family knows how much we cared about their loved one. Again, if you are interested in picking up paper crafting for yourself, I do have the Back to Basics playlist right here for you to look at. I'll be so happy for you to join us. See you real soon. Bye-bye.